Hi, and welcome back to Ken Arnold's Tidbits for Actors. I'm Ken Arnold, and you might remember me from such roles as Tim DeHart in the indie hit House of Fallen, or as William Hurt's stand-in in the Disney classic Tuck Everlasting. Today's tasty morsel of advice is about auditioning, or as I like to call it, the necessary evil of this damn fucking business. Auditioning is what we all have to go through to get the job. As actors, we are trained to go through this process quite frequently, with most auditions ending in complete and utter failure. If your auditions are like mine, and they probably are, you get called in to read for the casting director. Then if you're lucky enough, maybe you get a call back to read for the director and or the producers. Now, when you get the audition, don't worry about scheduled appointment times. You show up when you want. Don't they realize you're an actor and your schedule is constantly changing? If you can get there early, you might be able to squeeze in early. Who cares about other actors and their appointments? They're not going to get the role anyway. You are. Also, if you're late, don't worry. They're usually behind anyway, so you'll get seen anyway. And if you don't have an appointment, show up anyway. It shows initiative. Now once in the room, you do your thing. If there's a mark on the floor, don't use it. You'd just be pigeonholing yourself to be like all the other actors who audition. Remember, stand out. Don't follow the flock. If there's a chair, toss it aside. Or better yet, stand on it. Also, look right into the camera. Make a connection with the audience. The director wants to see the energy in your eyes. And remember, move around a lot. Be confident and your brilliance will shine through. Casting directors are just the middleman anyway. Once the director and the producer see your skills, they'd be complete morons not to hire you on the spot. Casting directors also love to be a part of your scene. Grab them, kiss them, slam the table in front of them. They love it. It makes it real. Any casting director worth their salt will jump right in and help you out. Also, if you get a reader or a scene partner who sucks, you stop them immediately. You correct them and or request a new reader or a partner. This is your time, so make the most of it. And if you mess up, you stop. Request to do it, no. Demand to do it until you get it right. The way it sounded in the car on the way over. Don't settle for mediocrity. Now I know you're feeling me here. And most importantly, when your scene is done, announce it by saying loudly and firmly, scene. The casting director already has plenty to do, so don't expect them to know when you're finished. You tell them. Well, thanks for joining me, and next time we'll take a look at working on set, where you talk to no one because you're better than them. We'll see you next time, and we'll see you on the big screen. Huh, I'm running late for that audition. Who cares? They'll wait.